Welcome back to my channel and I know it's been a minute but I'm back now. If you'd like to get ready with me, get ready with Maya, bit of a chit chat, bit of a gossip, go through some music, then stay tuned and yeah, let's, let's get into this video. Enjoy. Cute ugly Megan. <laughs> hey guys, it's been a minute, I'm not gonna lie. It's March, like it's actually the third month of 2018. Where have I been? Where have I been? I can't even tell you where I've been because I'm not even too sure myself. By the way, this is a get ready with me, so I'm just going to do my makeup as I would. I'm not really going to talk you through it too much, like it's not really going to be a tutorial. If you want more makeup stuff, I can, I can bring, <laughs> I can bring you <laughs> more makeup stuff. I'm not really doing too much today. I pick up my tracksuit later. The Double M tracksuits are out if you haven't followed Double M underscore London on Instagram. I'm not really sure what kind of op business you're on. Like, why? Why have you not done that? But yeah, go follow that on Instagram. As you can see, my hair is like red now. Cherryish red with a see these 3D nails are all fun and games until they get stuck in your hair. But the ends are like ashy and the top's like a really cherry red, pink, something. But I done it at 3.30, the salon in Shoreditch. She put some amazing treatment in it. When I came back out of the salon, my hair was so curly, you would not believe she just bleached my hair, like it was crazy. Um what else? Oh, then she put in these colours. What's changed? What's happened since I actually last sat down? My channel has hit its first year of being alive. Like January, I think January 15th was when I uploaded my first video in 2017. What else? My life really is not that exciting still. Like I don't really have great announcements to tell you. Apart from the tracksuits dropping, doing a couple of shoots, like that's really it right? Like my life's just not that exciting, like I don't really have updates. Look how dark this foundation is by the way, oh my days that way, I need to show you how dark this foundation is. Are you seeing how dark this foundation is? It's Fenty, it's the one that got colour matched to my skin. Look at that. But that means I have to literally like take the fat, look, I look crazy. I have to take the foundation all the way around my neck, everything like. It's just, I really need to just go and get my shade. I do like this shade. It's just orange. It's really just orange. <laughs> Music though. Music in the UK has been booming right now though. I can't lie to you. Like, let me zoom in a bit because I feel like I'm quick. You know me. I just listen to drill. Like, you just say, oh, what kind of music do you listen to? I'm like, do, do you know what drill is? I've just been banging US music. Let me show you what my go to song has been. I just got a Look at that. Look at the color on my arm. That's how. I do my makeup every single day, but I don't remember what I do next. Um, shit! Alright, what song should I play now, though? So I might not blow, but fuck, 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 fuck the fence. <laughs> Madness. Like, man just came back and remixed that verse. I was like, ah, what? I like this song too. This has been one of my go to's. Oh, I have nails on, man. How am I going to do this? I blow up my head for this. Good girl, you're a good girl, just be bad a bit. Them good nails, them good nails, so scandalous. Plus, this pussy miraculous. No, my baby not average. So I'm a bit all bad for this. New Chanel. Can't you tell, my baby, she my favorite girl. Strapping the loudest chronic, pull up with Beanie, who done it? Hey. If I go in, my niggas don't got it. <laughs> Gucci all on me, I'm on this. Nine on one, shall we drive? Look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on the side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them, dog. We gon' see how hard they ride. Check the tag, now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing at the bags, now I got a game plan. And I'm out here with the boy. All my days, Rick 
Ross is in hospital, like, this is just rattling my soul a lot more than I really thought it would be. Like, Rick Ross is Rick Ross, but at the same time, Rick Ross is Rick Ross. But the last time I heard, he was on life support. He better pour through. Like, pneumonia, like, I don't I don't get it how these lot catch pneumonia. Like, I proper don't get it. I think our parents just make pneumonia seem so deep. Like, fam, if you don't put your coat on, you're gonna get pneumonia. If you don't wear a scarf, you're gonna get pneumonia. And, like, uh, no one ever got pneumonia. <laughs> Well, I never got the radio. Ooh, you know who remixed this? Skepta. And you know who Skepta's seeing? Naomi Campbell! And uh, it's actually just a moment for the culture right now. It's like, they both excel in their own lanes and they've just come together to join in black excellence. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, I'm always saying, no, I don't need a man. What do I need a man for? I ain't got the time. I barely got time for myself, my friends. I'm gonna have time for a man, duh, duh. When I saw that picture, I was like, oh, I was like, raw. I might need to find me a local man. But, no, I don't have the time, I don't have the time. Was it sure? She was like, how men are like dessert. Like, it's, you don't need it, it's just something that's nice to have. Yeah, man de my lap dessert. That's me this year still. You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury. Like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Or did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, or not at all. I adore dessert. <laughs> I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. And this is like my everyday makeup, like this does not take long. And usually I do it on the train, like I very rarely do it at home, like to do my makeup at home is a luxury. Just because I'd rather sleep the extra, <laughs> the extra hour or so. If you know me, you know I'm a sloth, you're not going to be surprised. You know I don't care about what people are thinking, so when I'm doing my makeup on the train, yeah, stare at me, take notes, follow my YouTube channel. <laughs> I have to try it. Yeah. I don't know whether Oh yes Now everyone can relate To when they find a special someone She's royal Yeah So royal And I want her in my life Close night at the ramping shop The bar don't when me for city As the ramping started you still feel like a virgin And you know if you sit down bank You still bad when me for city Baby, me bad first fuck Me bad first fuck Bang it! Your boy is savage This song just come out here yeah. Cool Banger, of course, most that like banger Video was filmed by Calum Of course it's gonna bang, they always bang Cool, I'm thinking raw, oh, like, I like this, whatever. Now I'm pre in Kalem's Instagram and I see a picture from this video in like from August 2000. Yes, I pre would Quay back August 2017. This is what I hear about musicians like they will have fire, 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 chilling, calm. That's why they're cool enough, that's why they got the attitude. And then they'll just drop it like half a year later. And we have no idea, not taking the piss, but this is a banger still. <laughs> Have you heard Dave Hangman? Yeah, that's what we're gonna play next though. Remember on Twitter when he tried to say we need to bring back police stop and searches, yeah? Like, everyone got onto him and then literally like, what, a day later he got stopped and searched, shame. But it was just a whole situation, isn't it? So I'm listening to the song thinking like, oh yeah, typical Dave, like, he's addressing what needs to be addressed, whatever. Like, and I like that about him, that like, he is a good musician. He's a sick rapper, sick lyric. Lyricalist, lyricalist. Lyric. He's sick. Dave is sick. We all know that. But he addressed the Twitter thing, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Cause everyone was on to him. But the searches. But when Harry got murdered, man was so emotional, trying to find solutions. I had some good intentions, but I guess I couldn't work them. The life's so funny. I got a message saying that the streets don't love me. The streets don't love you. If you die today, they wouldn't donate to your fucking gold fund me. A lot of money. Fam, if you were going to die today, yeah, would people actually donate to your gold fund me? Like, actually, deeper, like, all these people that you think got you, blah, 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 like, are they going to donate? And, ah, oh, you see, death, yeah, you see, this is a whole new topic now, but 
You see death, it's actually mad insulting when people act like they they were one with the person that's died now. Like, fair enough, you pay your respects or whatever, but there's people that will make it all about them. Like, they'll make sure their mourning goes noticed. And I understand that like, you can't, you never know the full story. Like, you never really know the relationship people had with other people. But when people die, that's when everyone wants to be telling this story. Oh, yeah, he passed me on the train. When you go to their relatives as well, like, fair enough if you're tweeting it, you're Snapchatting it, whatever. Even worse when you go to the person's family and you're all talking, talking. These times the family know, they know you're chatting the crap. So why, why? Why do people do that? Like, when I die, I beg no one just try and act like, know in your heart that you did not know me. Even if you thought you know me, like, please know in your heart that you probably did not know me. So... Yeah, people do things how they want to do with it. Some people have never had to actually experience losing someone they love, so they don't really know what they're doing. They don't really know like what's the best way to approach people after that. Like it's a bit mad. It's a bit of a mad one still, but yeah, that's thought I'd waffle into that for a bit. Cool. Nipsey Hussle has just dropped a bag of music, so I'm gonna play this one. I like this one. Um, there's so much I still have to listen to, like there's so many tracks. I just have not got my whole way through it. Next level no still achieving those. Seven digits, model bitches and arena shows. Hundred thousand make a trust because my visa low. See it go. All money in the squad, nigga, even now. Oh. Man, it's hard to make a just out here making it harder for us, but you know, what's destined to be is destined to be. God willing, so they can continue to make this shit harder for us, but we're gonna keep pushing. That was not my attitude at first. <laughs> at first, I was fuming. I was thinking, all my days, like, this is literally like what I do, and you're now making it so hard. But I realized it is what it is. People start, they do it for a couple months, they don't finish. It's, it will, in the grand scheme of things, I guess weed out the people that are doing it for overnight fame and shit like I don't know like there's people that seem to think I'm gonna make a couple of videos and then I'm gonna bang and then I'm gonna be rich and famous no but I guess now that it's harder the only people that are really serious about it will hang about but I don't know fucking toxic to you and your mental you know for instance or an example you'll do a job you know some campaign or a big job or whatever and you'll post about it you'll put it on your portfolio or you'll tell you know your close people that you did another good job they're like oh that's what's up girl you know kudos but let a random person they've never met or just an associate of theirs who's popping online do something like a simple photo shoot they'll be like oh yes girl you did this everybody retweet my girl blah 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 or yes look at her working it but you're their friend that they know personally and they'll just be like oh that's what's up cool this is what i'm referring to when i'm talking about all this your associates your personal close friends or the people you thought you were cool with in real life will show more love and support to other people who aren't as relevant in their lives or that they don't even know as well as you. To me, that's toxic. To me, that's sad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you out of my life. Because how you showing more love to somebody who don't know you, who hasn't put in the time in the friendship that we have or hasn't shown you love like I have or supported you like I have, that don't add up to me. So I feel like maybe you're mad or maybe you're a little envious or maybe you're a little jealous. So I gotta ex you, you know? You know what, it's not even like a jealousy thing. Like I feel like, I feel like it's so easy for your friends, your family, your associates to get used to everything you do. So like what might be a big milestone for you and what strangers will see as a big milestone for you. Your family's just like, oh yeah, we expected that. Like we knew that was coming or, oh, she been doing that. So they don't hype it up no more, they get used to like, you do a shoot, you do 
uh, you drop music or whatever, we know your level, we know what's good for you. So when you drop something that surprises the whole world, it's not really a surprise to us. So I feel like that's why a lot of your friends are just like, mm, a bit toned down on a gassed. And that's why I really appreciate my friends that gas me up. Like when I come to you and I say, yeah, I got this shoot, or yeah, I'm doing a collaboration with this person on YouTube. They're like, what? Say that, that's you. Say that, that's what you're doing. That's what I like. Like I need people that will feed my energy. They gas me up. They let me know I'm doing good. Because sometimes it's hard to see where you've come from when it's yourself. Like there's lip gloss everywhere. But you are only looking forward in your journey. You're not necessarily looking behind you. And when you do look behind you, that's when you see, oh shit, I've come all the way from there. And now I'm here, whereas people, your friends, they've been watching you. They are the ones that should be telling you, like, you're, you're doing good, you're making it, da 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 But, fam, let a basic ass, I'm not even going to cuss people. <laughs> but you know what it is, yeah, in this day and age, I, I can't be bothered. Like, I don't force anyone to support me. I don't force anyone to watch. I don't force anyone to share. So my friends that do that, without me even asking, that's when I'm <laughs> You shared my video and I didn't even ask. Like it should not even be like that. But that's my that's my reaction more time. Like when I upload and I have a select few friends that share it, like I'm like, oh my god. Like this is what I need. I need people to share it and they're doing that without me asking and I hate asking. Like I feel like if you like something you'll naturally want it to do well. So maybe you don't like my shit. I don't know. Sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking like that's the end of the video still. I think everything's done. Like, I haven't done my baby hairs. I'm going to do a video soon on how I do my baby hairs because I have a new way of doing them. And I, I just blew my own mind. And I'm going to share it with everyone else. That's it from me. If you enjoyed, please like, share, subscribe. You know, join the family, the Maya Mafia. If you don't see me, you can always see me on my Snapchat, my Instagram. I'm always active on them. Even though Snapchat done fucked up and changed it, I can't lie, I'm so active. So, yeah. Um, bye. <laughs>